The unit of Mexican Army soldiers patrolling the Arizona border gone rogue? A small group has attacked American citizens and even challenged U.S. federal agents on our own soil. The News 4 Tucson investigators look into the dangerous world of rogue soldiers in Mexico's military. Mexican soldiers from this garrison behind me have been accused of drawing down on federal agents, shooting at Americans, and violating our borders. 19-year-old Javier Jose Rodriguez nearly died after soldiers here shot him just five weeks ago. So why isn't the U.S. government pressuring Mexico to bring these soldiers under control? Federal records obtained by the News 4 Tucson investigators show that last January, rogue members of the Mexican military crossed onto the U.S. side of the border and ran into the Border Patrol. It's not the first time. From what I understand, this has happened hundreds of times before. Sylvia Longmire is an expert on border issues. She's an analyst and trains U.S. law enforcement. She says the soldiers themselves told agents they got lost while chasing drug smugglers. However, I believe there was some confusion as to whether or not that's what the Mexican Army was actually doing because there was no evidence found by the Border Patrol uh, of any drug smugglers in the area. Reports obtained under the Federal Freedom of Information Act show that members of Mexico's army have crossed into the U.S. at least 300 times over the past 18 years. We spoke with the commander of this army base. He says the last unit rotated out and an entirely new unit took its place. But across the entire border, you will see that soldiers have driven into Texas. There was the Arizona case here, then an attack on U.S. citizens. The injured Rodriguez says he wants justice. His medical bills are now over $43,000. He says he intends to pay those off when he goes back to work. He also thinks it's wrong that these soldiers crossed into Arizona and threatened American federal agents. I mean, it's very nerve-wracking. A lot of these encounters happen in, in the middle of the night where, you know, the lighting is low and you don't know who you're encountering. You're, you're sitting there and you're seeing a group of guys coming up to you and they're all carrying long arms. You don't know what, what you're encountering. Sources in the U.S. State Department say they believe Mexico's attorney general is looking into that attack, but nobody is investigating why these soldiers cross into Arizona. And the helicopter flew very low, flew around behind the barn, landed. This Arivaca man said he had Mexican soldiers draw their weapons on him in Arizona. And then several men got out, all clad in black with uh, masks over their face and um, body armor on, carrying what looked to be full automatic weapons. The FBI took his report, but he never heard another word. That silence is frustrating to border residents and to agents. And when you see uh, our own government putting more emphasis on uh, the rights of individuals that are here in this country illegally already, instead of trying to help out the agents and seeing these intrusions and taking them serious, it's very frustrating. The Homeland Security Department was ordered by a senator to produce answers into the Mexican Army incursion by early February. A senior Senate aide tells us that as of this morning, the U.S. government has not responded to the senator's demand. In Sasabe, Sonora, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.